online. Previously. Warning. A ship has just jumped into the local vicinity. What? Negative IFF. Where? Are you sure? Confirmed. Can you classify the vessel? The vessel's silhouette is obscured by the star's corona. Spectral analysis identifies the vessel as an ochre corvette. Scanning emissions detected. Are we okay in here? What about the reactors? Reactor output is minimal and should be masked by the natural radiation of the uranium deposit we are currently mining. Is it looking for us? Unknown. If we stay here and reduce our power emissions, the ochre should not be able to detect us. Power down. Log entry 28. If the Okra Corvette maintains its present bearing, it will be at its minimum distance from our current position in seven minutes. Oh, there's nowhere to hide and I can't use the power to dig deeper. Just remain still. If you remain motionless, the Okra vessel will find it exceedingly difficult to distinguish us from the background noise. Okay, I feel so exposed. On its present course and speed, the Okra Corvette will pass into the asteroid's blind side. The asteroid's constitution will shield us from their detectors. And what are the options? It would be a good time to return to the airlock with the uranium ore we have already collected. Okay. I will alert you when the conditions are favorable. Okay, I'll wait for you to tell me to, when to go. <sighs> the vessel has started to merge behind the asteroid. Get ready. I'm ready as I'll ever be. Hats up. Power up our PFS. Go. Go now. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Where are you going? The airlock is behind you. I just want to take a peek, that's all. Why? Just, why? Curiosity. Remember, curiosity killed the cat. Okay, okay, I'm going. Please listen to me in future. My existence now depends on your survival. Okay. The power won't give us away, would it, on the door? The power drain will be minor and the base is shielded by the asteroid body. Outer door's closed. The uranium will take precedence as it will both consume power and take time to process. I'm back on board. Let's get this uranium into the refinery. The oxygen generators also require refueling with H2O. With electrolysis, the generators will convert the water into hydrogen and oxygen. Any idea how long it's going to take to refine the uranium into usable? That will depend upon the amount of contaminants contained in the ore. Okay, well, the sooner we get it underway, I presume the power drain from the refinery won't be picked up on their sensors, will it? The Okra ship has moved beyond sensor range. The chance is small. I managed to get two kilos of ore. That, that's going into the refinery. We will have to scavenge the nearby asteroids for an ice deposit. However, I suggest we postpone the collection for the duration of the ochre presence. Any idea how long that's going to be? Negative, but I suggest we let at least four hours pass before we venture outside. Okay. In the meantime we can continue to explore the rest of the station. Lovely. I can 
hear the scan pulse. The lookout it is not as heavily shielded by the asteroid, therefore we are able to receive the scan pulse. Will their sensors detect me in the lookout? Negative. As long as the ochre does not achieve a visual lock, we will remain dark. However, I suggest we refrain from powering up all non-essential systems. It's getting fainter. It stopped. We are no longer receiving the scan pulse. Possible reasons include 1. The ochre scanners have ceased to operate. 2. The ochre has moved beyond the maximum scanning range. 3. The ochre has left the system. 4. The ochre has reduced power to simulate their departure. During the Second World War, Allied destroyers, hunting an underwater target would sometimes reduce their engine speed until they were adrift, then wait to see if the submarine moved. So, like the destroyers in the Second World War, you're saying this is a trick to see if we move? Possible. The Ochre Corvette is beyond our scanning range. No pre-jump power signature has been detected. The percentages suggest the Ochre have moved to another location within the system. So we wait and see what happens for a few hours. Confirmed. I need to sleep. Wake me in a few hours. Confirmed. You have been awake for almost 22 hours. I will monitor our situation while you sleep. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, please. Oh, I'm awake. I'm awake. Uh, what is it, Sarah? What is it? Uh... Jump wake detected. Analysis confirms. Exit jump in progress. The Okra leaving? Jump in progress. Disentanglement complete. Have they gone, or is this just another ruse? The Okra have left the system. I'm going to grab what I can in the way of tools from these lockers. And then I think we need to think about oxygen. Before we begin to search for an ice deposit, I would strongly recommend transferring the refined uranium to the reactors. Okay. This will have to be achieved manually as the conveyor system to the upper floors is not operational. Okay, manual transfer. Why can't we leave it to later? Why do we have to do it now? Returning with water ice will do us little good if there is no power to open the airlock. Good point. On the way there, uh, I'm just going to place these oxygen hydrogen cylinders into the oxygen generator just so that they recharge with the last of the ice.
Now I'll pick up the uh, uranium that's been refined so far. Might as well take advantage of the uh, opportunity to recharge. Agreed, but time is of the essence. There is very little H2O left for electrolysis. Confirmed. Oh, more suits. Better suits. We'll have to investigate those on my uh, return. The Mark V. Variant G is very basic. A more advanced suit would be appreciated. We are approaching engineering. At least we got some lights this time. Place the uranium into the receptacle on the right of the button panel. Right. okay. One on the right. Only this time I will instruct you when and what buttons are to be pressed. After we have sourced water rice, we will need to repair the conveyor system. That way we will not have to do this again. Okay, uranium is in. Now press button 3, followed by button 1. Roger. All seems to be working good. Good boy. They're all 100% now. Confirmed. It would be prudent to close the blast doors behind us. Okay. Door closed. And a door closed. And the door's opened. Right, any particular idea which direction we should go? The greatest chances. Well, they seem relatively close. Why don't we head there? Agreed. Sarah, play me some music, please. Something that reminds me there's humanity out there. Something uplifting. Confirmed. <laughs> Water ice detected is located on the dark side. Ooh, the dark side. I do not understand. Uh, vid reference. Late 20th century, early 21st century cult sci-fi. Well, listen to me and you will live long and prosper. <laughs> I guess I deserve that. Any reading?
readings on how pure this is? The drill's inbuilt sensor gives a reading of 97.2% pure water ice. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds very good. I recommend we return with as much water ice as possible. However, we are limited in carrying capacity, and will have to resupply every four days. Every four days? We're going to have to try and find a way of automating that. What do you have in mind? Um, nothing actually in mind at the moment, but there's got to be a way we can build a drone or a remote controlled vehicle. Okay, that's about as much as I can carry. That time a little bit disoriented. Oh no, I'm not. This way. There are enough salvageable parts within Port Henry. These should facilitate construction. After we return to the base, we need to not only um, get this water ice refined, but we need to have a look at the conveyor system, and then perhaps we can do a survey of the parts we might need. Agreed. If you were to upgrade our suit to a command level PES, I will be able to assume command of the base. I am limited by our present PES to only local access. Okay, so we need a command level personal environment suit. Got it. I know why you left Earth. Oh. Do you? And how do you know that? It is sometimes difficult for me to block strong emotions. And? The last time you slept you dreamt of her. I thought you had erected a firewall between us to keep our inner thoughts private. I have, and it is still in operation. However, when you experience strong emotions, unexpected synaptic connections are triggered. I'm sorry in this instance your emotions leaked through. Okay, uh, give me a few minutes to think about this and we'll talk about it later. Acknowledged. Deposits of gold, iron and water ice detected. Okay, I have visual confirmation of your detections. I still can't believe that after travelling through the portal we've come as little distance as this from the water world to the ocean world we were stranded on for so long. Only atmospheric conditions were available via the portal. More time was required to translate the encrypted data's location specifications. With the resources on the base and here, I think we could build something to get us to think about getting home. With command access, I will be able to obtain any and all relevant blueprints and schematics contained within the base AI's data banks. Well, the power is still on. That's good. Jetpack off. Outer door is closed. Uh, put all this uh, water ice into the generator. Oh no, it's time for sleep. A period of rest is recommended. Yeah. Oh. 
tired, I'll eat later. Wake me if anything happens. Good night, Sarah. Good night, Christopher. Call me Crash. Everybody else does. Why shouldn't you? Night night. Good night, Crash. Good night, Sarah. I will always be here for you. Log entry 28. Offline.